We're in my Jeep Cherokee. Um, behind the mud there, there's gonna be a turn signal. All right, you can see it there. So, if we look for where that noise is coming from, we're gonna follow it and we're gonna see if we can find it. All right, I'm gonna put my hand on this little plastic cup here. Yeah, you can feel the vibration in this here. And this is your flasher. So when I remove that, there we go. So now I'm gonna cut this open and uh, we're gonna look inside. I just hit it with the uh, grinding wheel at the base and now I've got the whole thing out. I'm gonna put this in the Jeep and we're gonna watch it in action. Oh, look at it, you can see it. This is amazing. All right, focus, camera, come on, you got this. Look at it, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. You can see the little contact right there on the, uh, on the other, so you've, there are two little terminals on this switch. Um, there's that bottom one that's kind of hooked, and uh, the top one is bending this bimetallic spring until it touches the bottom terminal and completes that circuit. How about that? And actually, you can see a little spark. Let me turn off this light. Hey everybody, it's uh, me, Jason. I'm helping David out with his little discussion about how turn signal flashers work. And I'm here in my old Beetle, and I'm putting on my turn indicators, and you'll notice nothing's flashing. Which, of course, is very, very wrong. I love indicators, and part of what I love about them is the flashability. Why isn't it flashing? That's because right here in my hand, I've yanked the flasher unit. And you'll notice it has a little integrated circuit chip right there. Uh, that little integrated circuit chip, I believe, pulses the 12 volts of current from the battery to go to the little relay to actually make the clicking. So I'm going to plug it back in and we're gonna see if we can see anything working. We won't get to see a bimetallic strip snapping back, but maybe we can at least see the relay moving, which is, of course, what makes the clicking. And there it goes. So we see it is working. Of course, Volkswagen was a very big fan of you can figure out which way the hell you put your indicator switch, because we're just gonna give you one double-sided arrow. They did that in everything. I wonder how much money they saved, really. All right, so we hear the clicking. The clicking does come from this relay moving, and if I put my finger on it, I can feel the relay clicking and pulsing. It's a physical act that makes a clicking. It's not synthesized like cars are, it's an actual thing, but there's really not much to see. Because the chip is handling everything, there's no bimetallic strip we get to watch snapping open and close as it heats up, so it's really pretty boring. This is, you know, in terms of car videos, it may not get more boring than this. All right, there you go. Which indicator did I put on? Oh, yeah, here, let's get some exciting real-time indicator action. Choo-choo! Blink, blink. Oh, look at that turn getting indicated. Holy crap, this is fun. 